Hi everyone and uh, thanks for checking out my channel. I'm going to have a look at uh, WTI uh, crude oil, uh, looking at what we got last week and what could be happening for the coming uh, week or two. Uh, I think we arriving now at the, at the key point here as we reached the target I had um, just below 48 uh, with the question now uh, is that are we going to break higher and meet uh, 50 as it was one scenario uh, that I thought was unlikely but uh, now reconsidering to be a little bit more likely uh, following the recent uh, move to the upside um, but yeah there's also a potential for this to actually break lower uh, but we need to be careful with that as we got caught um, recently with that uh, trying to accumulate short and seeing basically the break um, the breakdown happening way too late to actually be able to hold the position so yeah what we can see here on the four hours uh, we got a very large green candle that's usually relatively bullish that couldn't actually push the momentum to break the recent uh, high so we are diverging now um, between the price and the RSI but I wouldn't attempt to show this uh, like that there's one possibility and I think that's what we are likely to see next week for a small trade potentially um, of course we might get a retest a bit lower at 46 but I wouldn't actually pay too much attention to this we're having that trend line in support just right here there could be a buy opportunity uh, keeping a stop loss not too far away say 45 a bit below and then we would have a move to the upside I would actually attempt to make a double top that could be shortable uh, as we can see the four hours will actually make a nice uh, third touch on the RSI divergence that's very key level uh, but of course the downside is relatively limited if we cannot manage to break 47 so it could be a first entry short trying to accumulate for a bigger breakdown that could actually take uh, the price to the target that would be 43.5 that's still i think the price we're going to see uh, but the question of course is uh, when are we going to see it if we look and we zoom out to the daily um, yeah, we can see that that rising wedge is actually even more compressed uh, if we look at the daily uh, i think this is very much likely that we are going here to double top we're having that um, divergence no showing as well on the daily here uh, just put that in red to make the difference with the four hours uh, remembering and keeping in mind that we had something similar this year that did actually last for I think it was almost three months. It was very exhausting for short positions to hold it. And we finally got uh, the nice breakdown here at 42. Uh, very little uh, people were actually holding short at that time. It was just too long waiting for that uh, rising wedge to break and the divergence to play out. So they did work at the end, but yeah, that was very, very difficult to trade. So let's see if we can get the same thing. So exhausting move to the upside uh, while the momentum cannot actually break higher, but still not breaking down. Um, we will see. But my opinion is that we should be careful trying to show this. We can take a good 10% from the first um, divergence uh, that would take us from 47 easily to 50, uh, I think that's an achievable target. But should we attempt to short from 48, that's a bit more reasonable. Of course, by entry at 46, uh, up to 48, that's still an interesting trade. Uh, it might be actually a good idea to take this, but that depends on the opening we're gonna get on Monday. If it does pull back slightly, uh, then yes, that could be a buy opportunity. If we look uh, during that period, uh, so between the 2nd and the 8th uh, of December was a slightly ascending uh, move. Uh, we could see here uh, the quote report that we see open interest uh, positive, so that's uh, bullish. But the management didn't actually do much in terms of the, their positioning, they basically stayed neutral. And if we look at the quote report, we can see that they flattened their um, position since uh, the break. I think we'll zoom in six months and we can see they're not actually adding uh, since um, we reached 45 so roughly everything above 45 is a bit risky the large funds are not actually follow following it uh, and that's probably why we see the um, the divergence as well we got exactly the same thing uh, back here on that rising wedge back in august september uh, the fund were actually reducing the uh, net long position uh, 
inside that rising wedge, keeping the uh, divergence running, and it was of course preparing for the large drop that we've seen later. So um, I think there's a high chance that we see the, that drop happening. Uh, are we going to see it from 46? I doubt it. I don't think we have the conditions uh, at the moment to actually break at that point. But from 48, if we make another attempt to that run line, that could actually be the, the right one. That could be interesting. So that's for potentially next week. So we'll keep an eye on this. And uh, yeah, until then, I wish you safe trading and I'll speak to you soon. Cheers. Bye.